It is now my great honor to introduce our guest speaker and esteemed colleague, Associate Professor in the Department of Special Education and Fellow at the Meadow Center, Dr. Jessica Tost. Given the challenges facing students today, especially those with disabilities and those with limited access to resources that would better prepare them for the academic journey ahead, I can truly say that Dr. Tost gives us all hope for a better tomorrow. Jessica is a maverick in her field and an advocate for special education. When not teaching courses on reading instruction, learning disability and special education law, Jessica serves as chair of the Board of Directors for Disability Rights Texas and is on the Board of Directors and National Advisory Council of GLSEN and the advisory board for the University of Texas Charter School System. Dr. Tost is also a provost teaching fellow and was nominated by alumni as a Texas 10, which is an inspirational professor who encouraged and motivated them during their time on the 40 acres. Most recently, Jessica was selected to be the 2022 winner of the Council for Learning Disabilities Floyd G. Hudson Outstanding Service Award, recognizing superior performance and commitment by a profession who works in the field, by a professional who works in the field of learning disabilities outside of the classroom. I could go on and on, but apparently we need to be out of here at 2 p.m., um, so I won't. But without further ado, please join me in welcoming Dr. Jessica Toss to the lectern. Thank you, Dean Martinez. Good afternoon. Congratulations to the graduates. I am honored to have been asked to share some comments with you, our College of Education graduates, and the families, friends, and loved ones here to celebrate with you in this room and from afar. What a privilege it is for us to be here together. What a privilege it is for us to learn, teach, and grow here on the 40 acres. I thought a lot about what to say today, and I decided I would share a few thoughts about knowledge, both the knowledge we gain and the knowledge we are gifted. But first I wanted to start with a brief story to help paint a picture of why I think this is important. I figured I have this whole audience, why not start by talking about myself? <laughs> I've always loved words. As a kid, I was an avid reader. Reading provided my first entry point to knowledge. I could learn about anything, I could explore any topic, I could understand new experiences, and I could see the world through different perspectives. This love of words is undoubtedly what, what led me to pursue a career as an elementary school teacher, and it motivated my ongoing interest in how humans develop as readers. When I started teaching, my love of words is what led me to pursue graduate studies and a career as an educational researcher. I felt a need to understand why reading posed such a challenge for so many of my students. The knowledge that I gained, the knowledge that came from these intellectual pursuits, made me a better teacher and a better scholar. But in addition to the critically important knowledge that I gained, I was also observing the world. I was seeing the inequities that existed in schools that I was in. Inequities in the access to opportunities for students to learn and develop as readers but also the inequities that happened in access to knowledge that grew between students who became readers with ease and those who did not. This was the knowledge I was gifted. This knowledge came from observing and learning from students who had very different school experiences than I had. This knowledge made me much better as a teacher and a scholar. And so you're thinking, great, Jess, you learn stuff. What's your point? I'm getting to it. Um, I told you earlier that I love words. I've always been moved by written words. And so I'm gonna share two quotes to elaborate on the idea of these two types of knowledge. If you've spent time in our main building on campus, the UT Tower, you may have visited the Hall of Noble Words. The Hall of Noble Words is a spacious reading room that's now part of the Life Science Library. It originally opened in 1934 as part of the university's central library. It was designed so that if you look up in that space, you'll find inspirational quotes engraved all along the beams that frame the room. One of these quotes is from Mirabeau Lamar, the second president of the Republic of Texas. This quote was later loosely translated in Latin and now appears on the seal of the University of Texas system. 
It reads, the cultivated mind is the guardian genius of democracy. The cultivated mind is the guardian genius of democracy. Your genius, your power, your influence has been enhanced by the knowledge that you have gained here at UT. The knowledge we gain from our degrees, from engaging in scholarship, from reading. This knowledge provides us with tools to engage with and contribute to our communities, to society, to the world. Most notably, it provides us with the tools to further our knowledge and to contribute to collective knowledge. Every time I walk into the Hall of Noble Words or see any of the quotes that appear on the walls and the buildings across this campus, I'm reminded about the power of education, the knowledge that we gain through education, and the great privilege that comes with us being here and having access to that knowledge. But there are other forms of knowledge. There is the knowledge that comes from interacting with the world. That's what I referred to earlier as the knowledge that we are gifted. Let me share another quote. As a young, queer, first-generation college student, I took a seminar course, as one does. And in this seminar, we read a book of essays by Audre Lorde. In one of those essays, she wrote, it is not our differences that divide us. It is our inability to recognize, accept, and celebrate those differences. It is not our differences that divide us, but our inability to recognize, accept, and celebrate those differences. I felt deeply connected at the time and now to this idea of difference, that our individual differences didn't have to divide us, but actually could create connection between us. I began to realize that my experience of the world was connected to the humanity of those around me. The knowledge that I gain is not static, it's connected to the humanity and the lived experiences of those around me. And when I began to recognize these differences, I started listening in spaces where I felt discomfort because of difference. I opened myself to experiences that felt different. This is where my knowledge really bloomed. This is the knowledge I was gifted. This knowledge is all around us, and it's an honor and a privilege for us to be gifted with this knowledge. I hope that you are leaving UT with immeasurable gains and gifts of knowledge. Many of you are likely thinking about, dreaming about where life will take you next. You're leaving UT to pursue careers in the fields of education, health sciences, youth social services, policy, research, and more. As you pursue these paths, consider the knowledge that informs your work. Are you considering the knowledge that was and will continue to be gifted to you by listening, recognizing, accepting, and celebrating difference? And are you using the knowledge that was gained through your education, the power of your cultivated mind? We all, all of you as Longhorns, have a collective responsibility to use this knowledge. What starts here does have the potential to change the world, and that potential is you. The experiences that you're taking with you from both inside and outside of the classroom will open doors. Congratulations again on this incredible achievement and of course, hook'em.